Here we go. Uh, Ayanna Van Zant. She was sitting down with Nick Cannon, and she okay. was talking about a uh, state of affairs between black men and black women. Yeah. All right, let's jump into it. Crimes perpetuated against black men specifically is the level to which their humanity and their hearts have been devalued, diminished, and dehumanized, and that they have become doing machines. The greatest value a black man has if, in many instances is what he can do for somebody right. and how he can do it and how much he can do it and how much he earns doing it. I mean, I, I hear it and see it among young people in the relationships, you know, oh, you're going to get my nails done and you're going to uh -huh. do this and you're going to do that. Right. You know, they've been demeaned and devalued and, and, and dehearted right. to the point where they value themselves based on what they can do, mm. fix it, get it, make it happen. And no place have I seen in our world does anybody tell black men the greatest crime. Uh, there is like, there's a few parts of that, but. I think that's the gist of it. Yeah, yeah, I think, I, yeah, I think that's kind of like the gist of it. Um, Tuck, your first thoughts on what Ayana said. To be truthful, I, I 85 90% of it's true because you can't fit everybody into a box. Mm -hmm. But majority of shit she's saying is true. They're taught that though. Mm -hmm. Once again, we gotta go back to the shit that's being taught at home. They're being taught that nobody is being taught to marry for love or look for love, and everything is financial, and that's just what it is. So for us. Black men, period, has always been the prove me state. We always, it don't matter. It's always prove yourself, prove this, prove that, prove. Because we started the bottom. Mm -hmm. And we do go through it with our own women more than anybody else. Absolutely. As far as relationship-wise. Mm -hmm. We we really a prize to every other race. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It, it's only black women that treat us with that whole, I right, prove yourself. Before we can do this, prove this to me. I'm saying, what mm -hmm. can you bring to there? What could you do to? And that's really what it's about. And it's fucked up, but that's life. Yeah, yeah. White Star GB. I had a couple of thoughts about. It. I I just you know, I don't know. It's just hard for me to. It feels uncomfortable when, when they try to play us as like a victim. I don't I don't I don't really feel comfortable with that. Where it's like you know, because I feel like it's men across the board. Men across the board always got to prove what they got to do, right? Like, I feel like, you know, it starts with even with like, with like being young, being on a basketball team, like try out. Mm -hmm. If you're good enough, you can make the team. Once you make the team, if you produce, then then you can actually play or else you're on the bench. Like, I feel like across the board as men, you're only as good as what you produce anyway. You know what I mean? I feel like now, there is a transactional state where women you know are kind of like very transactional with with men like that's mm -hmm. kind of like a period that that we're, we're, we're going through now but i don't know i'm i'm a little conflicted with the whole thing but why you say you don't feel like a victim i don't feel like a victim no nah, no nah, i don't feel like no victim but you realize you are though in what way in every way every time you walk out your door you're a victim so? being real with you because Right now, right? Mm. Right now, you walk and let's just say, all right, you say, you see a little young lady you like, whatever. No intentions or nothing. You just, hey, how you doing, right? From the time she look at you, she analyzing everything about you. You being victimized, bro. All right, what do you got on? Oh, it starts there. Mm. Then if she do give you conversation, what you driving? Where you work at? It's all sizing you up, bro. Yeah. Mm. Ain't no different from me saying, yo, bro, uh, 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 yo, you got such and such amount of work. Word, what you getting it for? Word, uh, it's all in the lineup, bro. I don't got no intentions of buying that work. Mm -hmm. Same thing with women. I don't got no intentions of buying you unless you're selling something at the right price. Mm -hmm. And that's it, it's being real. You are a victim, brother. Black man, but don't bro. you feel like every interaction between every human is always a little transactional? No, no, uh, -uh. now okay. because 
you have people that's really loyal to you that gain nothing by being loyal to you. Like, if you really wish to sit down and think about your life, all of us, this mm-hmm. is every person in the entire world. Right. You would really think about three or four people that benefit nothing from being around you or help you with anything that they do, bro. Right. They just do it out of love. And then you can also flip that script and think about who you do it for. Okay. Mm-hmm. That you don't benefit shit from. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So outside of that, though, trust me, you victimized, bro. Even down to your friends. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Some of your men love you because they love you, but trust me, all your friends because you're a cool nigga. Or because if I fuck with him, he's going to overdose for this. Or trust me, it's a lot of, whole lot of that. That's why some niggas disappear, then they come back. They disappear, they come back. You got summertime homeboys. You got homeboys you only see when you all take your trips. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you ain't got to be named, but bro, everybody plays a purpose in your life. Right. So for all the people that don't play the purpose, they're 